Above our search terms, you have access to our date picker. By default, results will show the last seven dates. You can make your date range bigger or smaller using our dynamic date range options, or you can choose a custom date range right down to the minute. Underneath our search terms, you will find all of the filter options. You can filter by source type. We've added the corresponding number of results for a quick view before you decide to filter down. Next, you will come to the language filter and then location. The keyword filter allows you to quickly drill down into a specific word without having to change your main query. This is especially useful when working with advanced, complex Boolean. Next, the sentiment filter. Meltwater uses its own natural language processing. You'll notice that the sentiment filter provides a fourth option called not rated. Sometimes there are mentions and documents that are extremely short in text, which makes it difficult to run a sentiment analysis. We've assigned these as not rated to ensure that the sentiment numbers match total results. Next, we have the authors list. Author lists let you group together a selection of Twitter handles and Reddit users. You can use the list as a filter to find documents from those specific handles and users. Oftentimes, media opportunities and issues arise from the stories and tweets coming from the same key opinion leaders. So diligent monitoring of these authors is always a best practice. Once you've selected your filters, click apply 